Today we are going to learn how to create a beautiful multi-step survey pop-up just like this one. From your Brave Pop-Ups page click the plus icon from top to create a new pop-up. Give the pop-up a meaningful title. Then select the pop-up goal. Let's select Collect Feedback since our goal is to subscribe new users to our newsletter. Once selected, you will see all the ready-made pop-ups for the Feedback Collection category. Let's click the Start with Blank as we want to start from scratch. The pop-up will be created and you will be redirected to the pop-up editor screen. Our pop-up will only have one step. The step will contain a multi-step survey form. When the form is submitted by visitors, the submitted form data will be sent to our email. First, let's resize the pop-up from the pop-up size section. Now we will change the background color of the pop-up. Let's give the pop-up rounded edges with the pop-up roundness option inside the general tab. As we do not want the pop-up to have any background overlay, we will remove it from the pop-up overlay section. Let's disable the overlay preview option to hide the overlay preview. Now let's customize the close button of the pop-up. Let's add the most important element of our survey pop-up, the form. Drag and drop a form element into your pop-up and reposition it to make it fit inside the pop-up. Now let's customize the form's layout from the Style tab. After styling the form, let's create a survey form by adding necessary fields into our form. First remove the default fields. Our form will have three steps. The first step will contain the first question of our survey, the second step will contain the second survey question and in the final step, we will add an email and name field to collect users' information. We will add the first question set by adding a radio field to our form. But before that we will add a custom label to describe question to our visitors. Let's add our first question. Now let's add the radio field with predetermined answers that the visitors will be able to select to answer our question. Let's add the field name. Field names are required for every field and should be unique. Since the goal of this field is to get user feedback on service improvement, we will name the field Improve Service. Since we have already added a custom label, we will disable the label of the radio field. Let's add some options that the users will select to answer the question. Now that we are done with the first step of the form, let's add the second step. To do that, first click the Add Field button and then select Step Divider. Your form will be divided in two steps. Then add the custom label field in the second step just like we did previously. Now click the I icon from the step divider field to see the second step of our form in the pop-up. Let's add our question and style the label. Then add a radio field again with predetermined answers that the visitors will be able to use to answer our second question.
Now that we are done adding the questions to our survey, let's add the final step to collect user information. To add another step to our form, just add a step divider field. Then click the eye icon to view the step. Now let's add a name and an email field. Finally let's add a feedback field, where the visitors will be able to write their feedback. Click the Add Field button from top and select the text box field. Add the field name and change the label to your feedback. As you can see, we incurred an issue when we added the new field. It's being cut off as it does not fit inside the pop-up. We can easily increase the height of the whole pop-up from the pop-up size section. But doing that will introduce gaps in all other steps of our form. So we should only resize the height of the pop-up only when the visitors in this step of the form. With Brave, we have the option to automatically resize the pop-up when a visitor goes to certain step of a form. We can automatically resize the height of the pop-up to fit all the fields of the third step by expanding the clicking step divider field and expand the options. And then enable the auto resize pop-up height on click. After enabling the option, set the new pop-up height. We will keep the default height size of 400 pixels as all the fields of this step should fit inside 400 pixels. After setting the new height, click the eye icon to see the updated pop-up size. Now when a visitor arrives in this step, the pop-up size will increase to fit all the fields of this step. Let's navigate through the steps and see how it looks. Now that we have added all the necessary fields to our form, let's customize the form actions so that the survey data is sent to us. First click the Action tab of the form. Then make sure the receive an email option is enabled and you have set a valid email address where the data will be sent. Now let's set what the visitors will see when the form is submitted. We will keep the default setting as we just want to display a simple thank you message when the visitor submits the form. Now that we are done with setting up the survey form, let's reposition the pop-up so that it appears on the bottom right corner of the screen. Finally we will set when to increase the conversion count of the pop-up. To do that, first click the goal menu from top. We want Brave to increase the conversion count when our survey is submitted by visitors. First click the goal completes when option. Then click the visitor submits a form option. Now let's select the form in our pop-up. Click the select button and then click the form inside the pop-up. Now when a visitor submits a form, Brave will automatically increase the conversion count of this pop-up. Finally let's save the pop-up. And publish it. And go to our front end and test out our newly created survey pop-up. Let's test the pop-up. That's it. Now when a user submits the survey form, an email will be sent to you that will contain the survey data.